So if you got this smart lock and you're having issues installing it, I had a lot of issues too, so I'm gonna give you a few tips and see if maybe that will help you out when you're just programming. The codes and the cards. It has some cool features, but it's really difficult to program. So first off, right here it says that the that the master code is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it's easy to overlook that um, you want to put just one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's really easy to overlook that because for some reason they put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight above that. So it's just a six-digit code to begin with um, to start to start programming it. Every time I try to program it, the the lock would think that that someone's trying to break in. I would have to um, unscrew it and then reset the reset the lock and then that was really really frustrating but what I realized is that you don't really get 10 seconds to um, to program it when the keypad is up you basically only have like two seconds before the before the the keypad um, shuts off and and you have to start from the beginning so what I found is that the keypad only lasts for a few seconds and then shuts off it makes it really difficult to program. Since you don't get much time to to input the uh, the new codes um, before the before the light turns off, I found it that it's better just to write down uh, the old code, um, how many times you have to put the pound sign and when, and what you hear after each pound sign. And because you only have like like two or three seconds in between. Uh, when you have to input the things, I found it easy just to write it down and then just put it in, and and uh, and it kind of it's it's a little easier to follow because you have to do it so fast. So this is the way I did it. Um, hopefully that that helps out um, anyone out there who's having issues. One thing that I realized is that uh, some parts are really confusing because it has different different sections and different parts of the instructions but really it just comes down to you sometimes have to press pound sign four times in a row uh, just listening to the beeps in between so because you have such little time to input that you have to you have to do it pretty quickly so I also just wrote down the pound signs one by one one after the other so that so that I just hear the beeps and then hit the next pound sign hit the next pound sign and uh, and it's really really not intuitive to to install this lock, but um, I found it this way. It was the only way I was able to do it fast enough. I hope this video helps out.